Hi everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Vikash Chauhan and I'm, my topic is to study the effect of matches, hundreds, high score and other variables on runs in the game of cricket. To give an overview of cricket, cricket uh, is played amongst two teams. Each team has 11 players. There are three types of formats played in the game of cricket. They are test matches which are five days long, one day match which are which is supposed to be played in one day and the T20 match which are short matches in the span of three hours where each team gets to play 20 overs only. In the team generally there are seven batsmen and four bowlers chosen. Team selection is very important and it should have a blend of seniors as well as young players. My research topic is to study how the runs are affected by the matches played, high scores, hundreds and the other, other variables. So uh, we need to have a team in which you know uh, the people, the, the players, they are very well experienced. So higher the number of runs scored, the better are the players. So we would like to do a research on how the runs are affected on the other parameters. The data collection method, the data is collected from the ESP and Crickinfo website. This is the official website for cricket. Uh, it is handled by ESPN. It gives information about international and domestic matches across all countries. The website is updated daily for the latest information. For our research project, the data is collected for only 1000 players in the decreasing number of the test matches played. So we have chosen only one format of a game and that too uh, we are limiting our players to just 1000 players. The players include batsmen, bowlers and all-rounders. All-rounders are the ones which can bowl as well as bat. Next, next we look at the results. This is the scatter plot we would look at. As we see that runs, matches, hundreds are positively related. However, wickets is little wickets and bowling average are not positively, not so positively distributed in the scatter matrix. Hence, we get an idea that the wickets and bowling average are not quietly go well with runs. Next, we see, we get the correlation curve between runs and the bowling average. So we see that we have a very low correlation coefficient between runs and bowling average. This indicates that these are the players who are bowlers. So the, the players who take wickets, they don't score runs and they are considered as bowlers in the team. Next, we regress high score, hundreds, matches and batting average on runs. We get the uh, model as shown. B depending on the p-values, we say we reject the null hypothesis and we say that these are significantly different. Next, we look at the residual versus predicted value. The residuals are equally distributed with mean zero and follow normal distribution. We then check the QQ plot. Most of the plot, most of the residuals belong are on the line. However, we there are see that there are few of the outliers. We try to check the outliers using Cook's distance, leverage, and student residual. Hence, we come to a conclusion that there are two outliers which are common in all, and we would like to remove those two outliers. After removing the outliers, we again check the residuals and the QQ plot. We then see that the outliers are removed on the QQ plot and uh, the residuals are distributed more properly. A more accurate model is achieved 
after removing the outliers. Next, we check the homoscedasticity test. We get the residuals as shown. The residual plot vary in magnitude. Hence, we conclude that variance of residuals is not constant violating the homoscedasticity test. Later, we check, we consider all the variables to check if we have uh, considered the best model so far. Then we apply a variable selection method in which uh, we use forward selection, backward selection, and stepwise selection. Checking all the three uh, types of selection, we see that we need to include more variables in our model. We see that forward selection and stepwise selection gives us the same results. Hence, we would we, we say that uh, models in green are better models and we should consider them for our analysis. This was my uh, project so far. There are, however, there are many limitations and follow up. We studied the effect only for few variables for the study. However, there are many other variables to be considered. Player is not selected in the team based on only on the number of runs scored. Hence, we say we do say that higher the number of runs, the better is the player, since they have more experience. They they know they know the game of cricket very well. Also, there is an important factor which is age to be considered. As players get old, they do not play that effectively as they are required. Also, you, in the team, you need to have a mixture of young talent and experience to bring in new innovation techniques. And also, we need to consider all formats of the game while selecting the team. Thank you.